Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So on Saturday, I rode my bicycle down to Barberton, down the towpath, and I brought with me my Minolta X700 and a roll of Kodak Tri-X400. So I decided to cruise down there and then kind of ride around Barberton, take some photos, kind of looking for interesting buildings, cool signage, you know, typical kind of thing you would shoot in Barberton. Kind of feel like I'm picking up where I left off last spring when I was doing a lot of solo rides and film shooting, analog photography, trying different cameras, different lenses. This time I actually brought my 45, mil 45 millimeter f2 lens with me. It's kind of the kit lens that I think came on a lot of the late 70s, early 80s middle to SLRs. I've actually never used it and I probably have three or four of them but I always like to use the more vintage lenses with Minolta's because I think I get a really cool look out of a couple of them, kind of from the SRT 101 era, or my more modern wide angle or telephoto lenses. The reason I actually used it this time is I do want to see what it looks like, but it also fit in my bag. It's basically a pancake lens, so just having a smaller lens that fit with uh, my ride, you know, so dual purpose. Um, anyways, yeah, I think, uh, I think I might have got some interesting shots. I was expecting it to be sunny and I was gonna, I was hoping for like a lot of more like shadow and um, light type stuff, you know, doing black and white. But it was more of a overcast day, but the sun was coming through like a real diffused light. It actually would have been a great day for portraits, but I think I still got some interesting shots and there's still some interesting colors. So anyways, I already got the film loaded. I'm doing my typical uh, method with Tri-X of Kodak. HC 110. I'll do dilution B for six minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna get to doing that and hopefully something turns out good and then we can take a look at those. By the way, I do have a full video tutorial on how I develop Kodak Tri-X 400 and HC 110 Dilution B, so I will link that below if that's something you're interested in checking out in more detail. Yes. 